Hey guys, this is VHS Mini Man here, and if you can't tell by this quality difference, you're probably thinking what the heck's going on. Today, I got a new phone, so all future videos are going to be done on this phone. It is, a, it is an S24 Plus, I believe, but yeah, it's a much better improvement over my last phone I had. But anyways, that's beside the point. I just wanted to point that out, so... Today, or earlier today, I went to my local thrift store. Originally, I was going to go there because um, for the first time in, I don't know how many years it's been, VHS is finally back in major retail stores. Uh, there is a VHS out there in Walmart of Terrifier 2. It's a horror movie. I am trying to get it. Uh, I checked there today uh, to see if they had it, and uh, my Walmart ha doesn't have it stocked just yet. I asked someone about it, and uh, they did said they didn't have it, so... Excuse me. I'll have to try again another day, but... Yeah, I'm definitely keeping my eye out for that VHS, because that would be a really cool one to have in the collection. But, I did stop by my local thrift store afterwards, and as always, they did not disappoint. I got some really cool stuff, so... I got one DVD from there. I got this for my uh, online friend who's a huge fan of a uh, Tia Leone. Is that how you say it? I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it's a movie she's in called uh, Fun with Dick and Jane. So I'm just going to toss this off to the side. And then I have two library DVDs here. I'm not going to show them off. But they're of um, Pokemon Destiny Deoxys. Uh... This time there's the actual disc in there, not a different one. <laughs> and uh, no, the other one's in the movie 12 Years a Slave. But the main highlight is these VHS. I got two clamshells, two two-tape sets, and 11 uh, regular like slipcover copies. So we're going to start with the two clamshells. The first one here is literally my profile picture, Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. Fifty third week of nineteen ninety seven. And the second one is of Bambi. Now this is my third VHS of Bambi, but I decided to get this partly because like it's a black diamond. Oh that doesn't that doesn't mean it's rare. And I'm not gonna be like, oh look at me, I have like a million dollar VHS. <laughs> no, but uh it did have these cool things inside of it. Like look at this. I'm gonna set this out to the side real quick. So there's like these advertisements for toothpaste and candy, which I found really cool. Just some thing. And then uh, here's the uh, actual. What the heck? There's another one here. I didn't even see this. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to look through this in a sec. But yeah, anyway, uh, here's the actual tape itself. And this copy has no print date. Now, uh, for the first of the two tape uh, VHSs, this one is of Meet Joe Black. Here's part one. 48th week in 1999. Part two. Same week in your code. Next is a VHS I already have a promotional copy of, so I decided to get the regular version of it. It's City Slickers. Uh, I don't see any printings on this one, so I don't know. I'll have to double check. Next is uh, Maximum Risk. This one also has no printings. Interesting, interesting. 
Next is a Vin Diesel movie, Pitch Black. Looks like a blockbuster rental. And it is. 37th week of 2000. Next up, I got The Animal. I knew I had to get this when I saw it. I mean, I've never seen the movie, but, like, with what I've heard, I kind of might have to. Like, what I've heard about it. Fifth week of 2002. Uh, next is Eight Seconds. June 18th, 2001. Next is uh, both one of my mom's and my dad's all-time favorite movies, A Fish Called Wanda. I have yet to see this, but from what I've heard from them, it's apparently like really, really good and really funny. So hopefully uh, it is when I decide to watch this in the future. Uh, July 7th, 1995. Next is a Cary Grant movie, a uh, Houseboat. Fifteenth week of nineteen ninety six. The next tape here is the second of the two tape uh, sets, the Sand Pebbles. CBS Fox release, so that's cool. Always cool to see those. Tape one. It's got none of the James Bond printings. Um, one sec. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to figure out this week and year code here. 11th week of 1986, I believe. Here's tape two. It's got the same week in year code. That's what I think the week in year code is, at least, because it's 611, so it would probably make the most sense. This next VHS is in, like, a really cool case. This is of Three Days of the Condor. This one, you, like, gotta snap the bottom open and then, like... <sighs> one sec. Yeah, you, like, you snap the bottom open down here, and then you, like, push from the top and, like, try to wriggle the case out, and then, I guess, the tape from there. Here, there we go. Let me just yank this out. It can be really tricky to deal with sometimes. Now, there, I think there is a week in year code here, but this uh, thing is, like, blocking it out. If not, then I have no idea. Just have this here. I don't know. But I think it's got a... It has to have a print date. Or, like, some kind of printing. It's just something's uh, <clears throat> blocking the view of it. Alright, three more tapes to go. Next is Striking Distance. Figured I'd get it because, you know, Bruce Willis. I love his movies. Tenth week of 1995. Come on. There we go. Next is Same Time Next Year. Twentieth week in nineteen ninety six, and last is a two thousand five tape, Suspect Zero. Another uh, rental. This time it's from Movie Gallery, and I believe the week and year code is right along here. The sticker is just blocking it, but. For what I, from what I know, it should have a week and year code along the side of it because there's not one on the top. But 
I don't know. It, 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 it's gotta have one, though, you'd think. But anyways, that is going to do it for this uh, VHS and DVD update. I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys like the quality of my new phone, and uh, yeah.